Greetings, everyone. This is Chris from the Catholic Company. Uh, today, I am talking with Al Cresta from Cresta in the Afternoon about what Pope Benedict XVI's uh, papacy has meant to him personally. Well, Chris, uh, I have to say, I, uh, Pope Benedict XVI has had more influence on me than any pope. I've had six popes in my lifetime, and uh, I really only resonated with two, and that's John Paul II and Pope Benedict XVI. But Benedict's writing, uh, because I, I do a good deal of study and research and uh, reading, Pope Benedict's clarity uh, in his writing I found so helpful. His three volumes on the life of Jesus, Jesus of Nazareth, uh, is, is one of the most remarkable uh, reflections on the life of Christ in print. And uh, I, also, I also liked... Uh, that he was, in fact, a probably the uh, greatest biblical theologian to ever occupy the seat of Peter. And uh, we've always had popes, of course, who knew scripture and who could handle biblical material, and they could, uh, of course, teach. But Benedict was, in fact, a, a professional biblical theologian. He would have occupied, had he not been, uh, you know, in the uh, working within the church institution, he would have occupied a seat at Oxford or Cambridge or, you know, uh, Tübingen, any of the great schools uh, in our in our world. So I I felt that he was just a model thinker and a model scholar. Secondly, um, he was a servant. I mean, he for years he just uh, was in the background behind Pope John Paul II. And he um, never, never tried to hog the spotlight. He uh, met with uh, John Paul II weekly, but most people didn't know that. Uh, he he served, and uh, when John Paul II uh, passed away, uh, Benedict had intended to resign and go back to Germany, where he could spend some time with his brother, uh, play piano a bit. Uh, he wanted he had a number of intellectual projects that he wanted to finish. But uh, the College of Cardinals prevailed upon him to uh, accept uh, the papacy, which he did. And I think he has faithfully carried out uh, his charge. Uh, I'm disappointed that he decided to resign. I mean, but he knows best. I'm just going to miss him. And that's uh, my biggest, my biggest, my personal concern is that I, I feel like he's been a, a tremendous elder brother uh, to me. And uh, you don't get too many people in your life who you can uh, look up to, especially when you get to be as old as I am. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, Al. Yeah. Thank you, Chris.